How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to a very special video and for today's video as you guys can tell from the title already we are going to be looking at a very special item that I got in the mail and that is this the 2022 Arctic Entertainment Calendar. Okay actually I didn't get it in the mail. Okay so shout out to this person. Okay they want to remain anonymous. So thank you very much for organizing the MO for some of us uh, players here in Singapore. Okay so a total of 4 orders was made. I was one of the 4 and unfortunately Hero Mart did screw up with the order so yeah uh they we received four codes but in the end we only got one calendar and i was very lucky and i'm also very thankful to the other three people who ordered with me that they'll allow me to have the poster first so that i could show it off so yeah we only got one poster we did get the four codes and we've all redeemed the codes already but uh we only got end up getting one poster so the person making the mo they will be contacting hero mart to make sure that they get the other three posters hopefully everything works out well for them and once again thank you to the other three people for letting me have the poster first so i can make this video okay so without further ado let's go ahead and open this up and see uh how 2022's calendar looks like all right so here it is oh nice sweet sound of unboxing all right so this is how it looks like it's sealed up in a plastic packaging Okay, oh, it's not sealed on this end. I don't know if he already opened it up or not, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, ease this out gently so we don't damage anything. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Not sure if you guys can see it here, but uh, I'll try and showcase it on camera. Okay, let me see. Yep, okay, it's a little rope down here at the bottom. Let me unroll it fully. Yep, this is how it looks like. Okay, so the other side here. Uh, this is just the poster side without the calendar. So yeah, this side doesn't have any of the fanciful dates and whatnot. You guys can see the full art print on the hero mark website if you guys can't really see it here okay i'm trying my best to showcase everything on camera also this camera doesn't really focus very nicely up close so yeah i have to bring it slightly further away so this is how it looks like and for this calendar side okay so if you guys remember i actually uh did order the 2021 calendar last year by myself so let's see if they have all the important dates here on the bottom of the calendar over here it looks like they still do have it Okay, so you can see uh, some of the days are marked out. So, oops, <laughs> hit the mic. Okay, let me go ahead and read out what uh, are the marked out days. Okay, so January, there's nothing. February, there's nothing. March, uh, March 1st, there's an Epic Deal logo here. It doesn't really, yeah, there's no legend here, but I'm assuming it is the birthday of epic deal of when epic deal was first created so first march there's an epic deal logo 18 march there is a battle gems logo so battle gems is one of ae's very first mobile games had quite a lot of fun with it back when it first came out but now it's pretty much a dead game okay 9th june is dragon fable so dragon's fable's birthday is in june we already know that uh july nothing august august there's something here august 31st i'm not sure what logo this is yeah, I'm not sure what logo this is for August 31st. Can you guys see? Yeah, I'm not sure what logo exactly this is. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments section, alright? September, nothing. October, oh, a lot of stuff for October. So first off, October 1st, we have Mac Quest. October 5th, there's Hero Mart. Okay, so Hero Mart actually came out uh, on October 5th. No, which year exactly, I'm not too sure. Then uh, October 10th, we have AQ Worlds. October 14, we have Blade Haven. Wow, this is so old, man. Actually, I don't even know what Blade Haven is. <laughs> if you guys heard of Blade Haven uh, from AE Games, let me know down in the comments below. I'll probably go do some research on what exactly is Blade Haven. 15 October, there's AQ Classic. Okay, 18 October, there's AQ 3D. Okay, November, nothing. December, nothing. I kind of wish that they will include staff birthdays here. I think that would be nice. Of course, it will be changing every year as they get new staff or like uh, have st staff changes. But I think it will be nice for them to include uh, the staff birthdays as well. So, you know, we can keep track of any events inside of game for the staff birthdays. It will also be nice for like 
Heroes Hard Day, Halloween, you know, those sort of uh, events whereby they have in-game events. That, that would be nice. Those sort of festivals where they have in-game events. Yep. Okay, so I can't really show. Okay, let me just move this mic off the way so I can show it better. Trying to move it here, uh, but it's so difficult because uh, this is where my PC is. Ah, God. Okay, so that is the calendar. Uh, the quality, I would say the quality is pretty nice. Okay, uh, if you guys can tell, yeah, it's pretty good quality. Def is it worth the money though? I am not exactly sure. Let me go ahead and bring my mic back. Sorry for that, guys. Okay, so yeah, the quality, I would say this is a uh, pretty high quality art print and it will go nicely on the wall. This is obviously pretty large, so I'm going to have to get a, a frame or something. I haven't even framed up the 2021 calendar, speaking of which. So let me just go ahead and set this aside first. And now we'll go ahead and check out the in-game items for Adventure Quest. Now, uh, the class for dragon favor is not out yet that is the butt pop class that we are getting this year but the moment testing is ready you guys can rest assured i will definitely be one of the first few to test this out uh, uh test out the new class put it on youtube and give you guys my thoughts for those of you guys who are still on the fence of whether you want to get the calendar if you're a dragon favor viewer for adventure quest viewers the item is already out so let's go ahead and take a look at it right now Okay, so we are here in Adventure Quest and there is actually a Earth as well as a Darkness version of the item. So right now you can only get either one because it uh, the shop is not out yet in Ballyhoo. Okay, so I checked. Uh, the only way you, by default, you get the Earth version. If you want to change it to the Darkness version, I assume you have to go into the item upgrader. By the way, you guys can go ahead and check out my shot if you guys want to find out how you can convert or upgrade your items using the item upgrader the link will be in the card in the top right corner of the screen right now okay so for the shield it's a continuum chrono shield for the earth version and quantum chrono shield for the darkness version mastercraft when you block an attack there's a number of hits block over number of hits connected times 10 over 21 chance of paralyzing the monster for one turn the monster can resist with a safe at plus zero bonus inflict dexterity over luck resist with endurance over luck so it gives minus 26 percent to the element 16 to magic and melee defense and 18 to and 8 to range defense so uh not a fantastic shield all right so let's see if we can block an attack Okay, monster did not get stunned. Okay, let me do something with higher MRM. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the shield. Come on, paralyze. Your foe hits the shield, which drains their temporal mana and paralyzes them. Paralyze, one round. Okay, so this is against combat practice trainer. You can see it just now when it... Uh, okay, we got it again. That's good, I guess. Oh, is this bug? The foe is not even moving. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, this could actually be good. Don't fix it. <laughs> Don't fix this problem. This could actually be good. Uh, let me go ahead and try this out against a proper monster. Wow. Okay, pretty sure this is bugged. I think it was bugged also for the previous year's version. I'm not entirely sure, but... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Is it a permanent stun lock? Oh, come on. Don't hit me. 465 dexterity. Okay, we are not dodging this guy. Uh, let's see. Elite Rogue Pirate. Okay. 247. I think we should be able to dodge this guy. Uh, let me see. Let me do Code Konami. And let's do... Oh, okay. Let's do some freaking dodge. Oh, yeah. I am running a dodge build after all. <laughs> okay, let's see. If he misses... Okay, 3 hits, all hits, miss, and still didn't inflict crap. Come on. Your 4 hits the shield, but endures its temporal magic. So this is level 150, and against uh, resist endurance over luck. So 4 has 0 endurance and 0 luck. This should be pretty good, right? We have 0 luck, but we do have uh, max out dexterity. 
and yeah it's not happening so often against a foe that is same level as us yeah you can see here what the heck this is okay I stand corrected. Okay, so against a weak monster like a freaking combat practice trainer, it is broken as heck. But against a proper monster, yeah, I can't even get the paralyzed to work. Come on. This is not even a strong monster. Okay, safe to say if it's not working here. Okay, finally. Wait, let's see. Do we get the bug? Okay. Alright. So once you get it, it's a permanent stun lock, I think. But before you get it, you literally have to pray and hope. All right. So if you manage to land the hit, then yeah, it's a perma stun lock. But if you don't get the get, don't stun the monster at all, then yeah, it's never gonna happen. Uh, because it's broken, I am going to say it is okay. But you can see uh, against a level 150 monster. The, the chance is super duper low. This is not even a boss monster, by the way. And boss monsters, usually they have the freedom status anyway. So, yeah. The artwork, though, uh, I have to say, the artwork looks not bad. Uh, but the practicality-wise, not that fantastic. Okay, so all in all, uh, if you're using this, you can use this for, like, your regular mob battles to save yourself some HP and MP if you manage to stun lock the foe but you can see here the chance is not super high so overall I'm going to rate this shield okay a 6 out of 10 both for the artwork and practicality combined mm, not that fantastic and the only reason why it's getting 6 is beca mainly because of the artwork practicality it is not that fantastic okay now for the weapon okay continuum chrono blade for the earth version and the quantum chrono blade for the darkness version okay melee range magic earth darkness sword glaive or sword neutral bth and damage lean click the blade to sort between melee range and damage okay this is range this is melee this is magic oh i think the range one looks pretty nice i wish it'll be a little longer almost like a spear or something i think that'll look a lot cooler but yeah this one yeah, magic version also looks really cool. Look at all that. Yeah, magic version looks really cool. Okay, uh, melee version is pretty meh, but oh, you know, I think the artwork is pretty nice. Yeah, the artwork itself looks really good. Practicality, let's take a look. Click the handle to swap it between damaging HP and SP. It uses now over 8 damage in SP mode, so... Okay, false HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I click to attack your false soul? Burn will not shut your full soul and damage their SP. Oh, I don't really see any visual differences between HP and SP. So you can only see the visual difference when switching between damage types. Master Club, you heal 5% of the damage dealt. You heal HP in HP mode and SP in SP mode. This is based on real damage dealt. So if you bring a monster with 0 HP or SP, then you don't feel heal for the overflow damage. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Uh, that itself is already not that fantastic the healing is multiplied by uh half for melee and range or 0 0.75 over 2 magic for weapon skills okay uh this one i think it is not that fantastic let's go ahead and see okay hp for okay okay no 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 take away the shield let's try this out against a proper monster why do i even bother against combat practice trainer it's probably not very practical Tables. Jeez. <laughs> we just finished the donation contest this morning. And by the way, I did hit uh, top 150. So thankfully for that. I'll go through more of that in this week's uh, video. Alright. Okay, yes, yes. Let's switch to Obsidian Cloak. Let us attack. Uh, wait, what? Where's my heal? 2390. Wait, what? Do you guys see that? 6 HP and 9 HP heal? What the heck? Yeah, this is crap. Absolute crap. Oh my god, the HP heal is so freaking bad. Granted, I have absolutely no bo boosters whatsoever. Okay, maybe it's because I'm using strength. Okay, hold on, let me try. Hitting it with magic. 
Yeah, cause I have zero strength. Yeah, okay, that's probably why. Silly me. Okay, this one hundred and thirty percent. Let's see how much it heals. Uh, yeah, about ten HP. Oh my god, am I using this wrongly? I'm not using this wrongly, right? This is how weak it is, right? Oh wow, 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 wow. Yep. Okay, safe to say this is a crap weapon. You can boost it, I guess, but it's not still not going to be great. I healed about 7 hit, HP per hit. Wow, okay, the HP healing is ridiculously low. Uh, I don't know if you buff up your damage to like a thousand plus, is it gonna make any difference? 166, I'm healing about 7 to 10 HP. Okay, so I'm assuming the scaling is pretty standard. So if I do about a thousand to two thousand damage per hit, I'm going to heal about what? A hundred, two hundred HP per hit? Is that good? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm really struggling to understand why the calendar items are so weak in Adventure Quest. Like, there's literally no reason to buy a calendar for Adventure Quest classic items. You literally only want to buy it for, like, the Dragon Fable classes, the AQR class, uh, maybe if you play AQ3D, the AQ3D class, but yeah, every time, every year, the Adventure Quest calendar items are so lackluster. Why is that so? The last time we had a good item was the Shadow Walker of Time Armor, and yeah, that was literally it. That was the only time we had a decent release for Adventure Quest Classic. All the other years, the items have been crap. So let's go ahead and try out the SP now. Okay, 130 SP. Whoops! Oh god. This one has... <laughs> Silly me, okay. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and see how much we can heal. Uncle Wyvern. Okay, this one should be pretty good. Earth is 110%, okay, I think this is pretty fair. Let me go ahead and use some SP- Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go ahead and use some SP first. Nine one five. Okay, so you don't heal the difference. Oh, we did about. Okay, we managed to take out all of the SP, but it, we healed like the healing for SP is similar to HP. It is stupid, stupidly low. I guess the healing doesn't matter, so we can test this out on combat practice trainer. Again, I don't know if you need to like you know do some crazy buff and you'll heal more or what, but. Yeah, right now I am not impressed. Combat practice trainer also has zero SP, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we need a monster with actual SP. What am I doing? Combat practice trainer has zero SP. Okay, 145. Most monsters don't have a lot of SP nowadays. Uh, let's see. 948. Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's crap. Who am I kidding? It's still crap. Guys. Okay, my verdict for the weapon. 5 out of 10. I'm gonna rank it slightly lower than the shield. Uh, yeah, so unless you really, really like the artwork on these items, they serve zero practical use inside of Adventure Quest Classic. And that is my review on the 2022 Hero Mark calendar items for adventure quest classic really bad do not ever get the calendar just for the sake of the items if you're an adventure quest classic player if you play other games like dragon fable like adventure quest worlds adventure quest 3d and i don't know what, what was the other one was it epic duo or was it oversoul i can't really remember but yeah if you play any of those games you want to get the items in those games i think they will be worth a lot more if you're solely an adventure quest player and you don't care for the calendar you just want the items Please don't ever get it. I think it's a huge waste of money and it, the items are just really bad. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and my review on the items. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.